So ES News, Eli Setback, Eli Setback reporting. Uh, <laughs> I can't help myself, man. I always have to do that whenever I talk about Eli Setback. Um, so ES News recently caught up with uh, Alexander Uzik. And uh, uh, Uzik, well, he said it in his native tongue. And uh, this guy right here, I guess that's his one of his team, team members, uh, translated what he said. And uh, Uzik said... And I quote, he said, after I get rid of Tyson Fury, then we're going to talk to Deontay Wilder. So to those who don't know, there's been, you know, talks of a potential fight between Uzik and Fury uh, next year. Uh, Fury was hoping that it would take place before the end of the year, but Uzik uh, didn't want to fight this December. He said that he, he's been out of, you know, he's been away from his family uh, this entire time because of the war in Ukraine and this and that and he he said that he won't be ready till next year so Fury right now if you guys don't know Fury has decided to fight Chisora for a third fight he tried to make the uh, or they, they were trying to make the Anthony Joshua fight uh, obviously that's not happening and now here he is fighting Chisora instead so um so yeah and as for uh, the the anti Wilder situation when it comes to Uzik. So after uh, while I guess while Tyson Fury was negotiating uh, with Joshua, while all those news was going on, Uzik wasn't really too happy about that. Like why is he fighting Joshua? This and that. So Uzik said somewhere uh, somewhere in the past that um, you know while I guess he's gonna fight the anti Wilder while Fury uh, fights um, Joshua at the time. Uh, obviously that's no longer happening, but um, you know. Fury is still fighting before the end of the year. This time, he's just fighting Chisora. And now, it looks like uh, Uzik is making it clear that he's not chasing Deontay Wilder right away. Uh, it looks like he wants to fight Fury first. Uh, Deontay Wilder, as we all know, or to those who don't know, he's coming off an easy win against Robert Hellenius. Knocked him out in the first round. Caught him with a short right hand. Dropped him uh, within two, like in two minutes of the fight. Or... or definitely in the first round so so yeah it was an easy win for Deontay Wilder Wilder after the fight talked about how Uzik um you know he how he wants to fight Uzik but um Uzik might not be interested because he didn't show up to this fight and that uh you know he if Uzik's not interested they'll look into bigger fights and the bigger fight out there right now for Wilder is a fight against Andrew Reese in my opinion so but you know a fight between himself and Uzik would be a great fight I think would be an awesome fight i'd love to see it but i guess um uzik is now thinking clearer and smarter that uh you know fighting wilder is probably not the best choice at the moment and just wait to fight just uh the, you know after the chisora fight uh with fury i think we all know fury is going to win that fight anyway um so i think uzik waiting to see what will happen in that fight and fight fury after is the smart thing to do because uh, when they do fight, Uzik and Fury, um, it will be for undisputed status in the heavyweight division. With all the belts on the line, first time in the four belt era, with, ho with one the winner holding all the belts at the same time, WBC, WBO, WBA, IBF, and as well as the Ring Magazine belt. Um, so that's a smart thing to do. Um, to those who don't know, Fury is a free agent. Uh, he is not exclusive bound to exclusively bound to a promoter or a network, so he's free to fight Fury eventually, and Wilder eventually, as long as he doesn't sign an exclusive contract that will hold him down uh, with one network and one promoter. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know what you guys think. Shout out to Eli Setback reporting, and uh, and yeah. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.